going on everybody this is jeff with living in arizona and today we are going to address the subject of creepy crawlies and animals in arizona what they look like what you know just some general stuff about these guys all right people want to know you guys want to know this stuff you guys want to know what's out there in the what's in those holes in the in the desert what's in under the bushes what's under the rocks you know and that's what we're going to review here so if you're new to living in Arizona, this channel, feel free to subscribe and thank you to everyone who's been liking these videos to help grow this channel and bring more content like this to you guys. So this here is the office of the governor, Doug Ducey. Unfortunately, we can't use the official government website, not because we can't use it, but because it's janky. Just like all government run things, they just don't function as well as privatization you know hence the reason why they always say big government sucks it's just like big government corporations suck they just don't get things done like an individual or private organizations who have that motivation and drive now why do I say that well if I just click on this you know I'm here I'm like well I'll use the, the official government website click on this and of course it doesn't work. The resource you're looking for has been removed or um, changed, so it's not here. So we're going to bounce around. We're going to use some other information, and uh, I'm sorry about that. I'd love to use the official government website, but uh, they don't have the gallery that they said they would because they just don't pay attention to the work. Um, okay, rant over. The plant and animal life of Arizona is varied and the scenery, or as varied as the scenery and the climate. So some of the things that you're going to be on the lookout for, uh, Gila monsters. This is a Gila monster. This is a lizard. I'm going to talk about this in detail, but this lizard, it's rare. I've only, actually, I've never seen one in the wild, and I've been all throughout the desert. I've never actually seen a Gila monster. But you've also got coyotes, prairie dogs, javelinas, horny toads. They call them horned toads, jaguar, bighorn sheep, the jackrabbit. Uh, unusual birds, the Roadrunner, those aren't so dangerous, right? So let's go ahead and look at some of this information. Th again, we're going to use a private website, thanks to ArizonaLeisure.com, who's doing it just better than the government. You know, we pay the government all this money in taxes, but I can guarantee you this resource here does not make even a fraction of budget <laughs> as the government website. But we're going to use their website and give them a shout out. Shout out to these guys. So they've done a great um, write up. Tony Subia, he's the writer here. So this here is a mountain lion, also known as a cougar. These are rare, but they do come into your backyard, especially if you're at the foothills. But they're rare. These are cougars. If you see one, just back away. Don't tempt it, taunt it, or anything. Don't ask for anything from this thing because this is a mountain lion, okay? Look at them teeth. It's no joke, okay? All right. So we got that. While we're on the subject of cats, you also have these littler, these smaller cats. They're like a mix between, they're, they're a cross between a house cat in size and like a jaguar size. They're called a bobcat. These I've seen in the wild. I've seen more of these in the wild than I have mountain lions. And these are feisty little suckers and they can have rabies. So don't let these bite you either and don't try to pet them. All right. Next thing you're going to see is black bears. You will see these in Mount Lemon. You'll see these up in Flagstaff area. These do exist in like, you know, these are around. You're going to bump into these. These are out there, okay? Bump into them in Payson, White Mountains, Mogollon Rim, which is Payson, White Mountains area. And so, yeah, black bears do exist. Again, don't try to pet them. These, these are not like ferocious grizzlies, but still, you don't want to taunt these guys either okay so we're going through some of the, the mammals that are you know you got to be on the lookout for out here okay then you've got the ringtail cat this thing's not so vicious but again could have rabies you just don't really want to taunt it no need to try and pet it um, but this is the ringtail cat you'll know because its tail is going to be ringed so that's how it gets its name the ringtail cat Coyotes. These these guys are rabid, man. They, they they're they're the type. These these animals here, these coyotes, they howl. You know, especially in your, if you're in the rural areas, they look innocent enough. They look cute enough. They look like a 
cross between a like a smaller wolf, right? But uh, they will take your cats. They will take your little dogs. They will attack your dogs if you keep them on a leash. Um, you can just go on YouTube and see a, a coyote trying to attack a cat or a, or a dog. And sometimes, you know, these these dogs are, or these coyotes are wily, wily coyote. <laughs> All right. So coyotes, yeah, don't don't try and tempt these guys either. Same thing. I mean, it's, it's not like I'm trying to tell you what to do, but seriously, people will go up to these and try and pet them and make friends with them because they're but it's just, it's not a good idea, especially if they've got cubs. Any one of these, if they've got cubs, don't mess with them. Another animal that comes up is a javelina. It's not pronounced javelina, even though it looks like it. It's a javelina, also known as a pecari, okay? These are wild hogs. They're musk hogs. They will come up to your house. Some people feed these. Um, they're, they're pigs, you know? They're, 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 they, you'll see them in packs sometimes. These are common. You live in Arizona long enough, you'll see them. They're around 35 to 60 pounds. Another animal that you're going to bump into occasionally is a desert bighorn sheep. Those are always cool, right? But um, they're in the same kind of terrain as mountain lions and bobcats up there in the mountains, you know, in the desert mountains, in the foothills. Okay, so kind of cool. Uh, not so not so dangerous, but still kind of dangerous because it's got an, uh, these horns, these antlers, elk. So yes, elk are out there. You'll be driving up in the White Mountains past Payson on the Mogollon Rim and you, you know, you got to watch out. They'll cross the road and you'll hit them with your car. That's the big thing you got to watch out with these. You, you hit one of these, man. Whew. Ooh. Yeah. Your car's toast. Then you've got something like uh, a white-tailed deer. Still, you don't want to, you know, these things are really timid. I've seen these plenty of times. They see you that they blend in to the desert like you'll be walking and then you'll look over to the side and you'll be like He'll be looking at you, but you couldn't see him because he blends right in But uh, once he knows you got him and he'll, he'll run he'll take off, but uh, You know they got antlers. I wouldn't mess with them. I wouldn't try and pet them, but you could I guess uh, that's not I, That's not recommended though and you got pronghorn antelope. These are more up towards like I've seen these in like eager Springerville in the, in the plains. Uh, yeah, so these are cool. Now, as, in terms of reptiles, you got lizards out here, right? I'd, like I said, the Gila monster. This thing, if it bites you, it uh, it just holds on to you, and it's got a, a bacteria in its mouth. You don't want anything to do with it. But this is, this is one of the, the more unique um, creatures that we have out here because I don't think it's anywhere else in the world but here. The Gila River... Starts in New Mexico and flows all the way down through Phoenix, but it dries up by the time it gets here um, in the Phoenix. But it didn't used to, but that's where it gets its name, the Gila Monster. Not Gila, Gila. So the J and the G tend to be si uh, silent or sound like an H. Then you got uh, another one. Okay, so, so is, is it venomous? Yes, it is venomous. Like I said, it has that bacteria in its mouth. It can, its bite can be pa very painful and serious, but rarely is it fatal. So it's more than anything, it just doesn't want to let go of you. But there was a fatality in 1939, but that's it. Um, another thing that's, you don't want that, to, that's out there, I like the name Chuckawalla. I actually had a barbecue brand called Chuckawalla Barbecue because I like the name. I, st I haven't done anything with it, but I was making spices for it. But Chuckawalla Barbecue. Uh, named after this guy. He looks like a monitor lizard. Uh, kind of like a cousin of a, like a little baby of a monitor or, or miniature monitor or a um, Komodo dragon, kind of. You see, most of the time you'll see him in cracks or rocks, and these are common. These are way more common than Gila monsters. You'll see Chuckawallas a lot more than you'll see a, a Gila monster. These, you'll also see these little cool looking creatures. People make these pets. These are horn frogs. I don't think this is uh, um, venomous. I've never heard of anyone getting, uh, yeah, completely harmless. So they, they look a little bit feisty, right? But they're really not going to hurt you. Um, now, on to snakes. The ones you got to watch out for are going to be these rattlesnakes. These suckers are, these, these are, this is the one thing that if there's anything in the desert that you got to kind of, 
you know, be concerned about, you're going to bump into these more than you're going to bump into anything else. I mean, obviously an encounter with a wild cat, like a bobcat or a mountain lion can be pretty tense. These, these right here, these, I think more people die from these than anything. Uh, so this is why you need to seek emergency. So rattlesnakes do not give the distinctive rattle warning before striking. Always be aware of your surroundings. This is why you need to seek emergency medical care quickly if bitten by a venomous snake, whether a rattlesnake variety. So if you get if you, if you get in if you get bit by one of these, you need to seek medical attention right away. Don't try and handle it yourself. This is one of those things you've got to go get medical attention for for a rattlesnake. They call them rattlers. You like like he was saying in, in the write up, you don't necessarily hear them rattling, but if you piss them off. They'll rattle and you'll you'll hear him and he'll sit there on your front porch, you know, because people try and take their brooms to to get them off. I've even seen people uh, back in the old days. I don't know if it's considered okay to do this anymore, but I mean, the cowboys they would take a shovel and chop its head off if it was on the doorstep, and then they'd skin it and they'd put it on the on a piece of wood. Nowadays, with PETA and everything, you can't do that. But that's how they used to handle them back when I was a kid. No joke. You had a rattlesnake on your front porch. They, they they considered it, you know, they got they'd kill it. They don't do that anymore, I don't think. There's some people out there who probably chop the head off these things and skin them and put them on a... Yeah, but you'll go into bars and you'll see they'll have like a 10-foot rattlesnake skin on the mounted on the wall. Uh, but I don't think people do it as much anymore. But these suckers are... This is the one thing that that you kind of got to be on the lookout for. I'm not saying be scared of it or fear it, meaning you can still go hiking, but these suckers are out there and you kind of got to be on the lookout. And they're, you can see they, they got a, they don't have a smile on their face. Okay. So you can go on, you can go on YouTube and watch. They got diamondback rattlesnakes. They got coontail rattlesnakes. I think that's a diamondback. Arizona diamondbacks, a baseball team. Um, they call them raccoon tail, just like they had the, um, the ringtail cat. So they've got different breeds of rattlesnakes. Actually, I've pulled them up here. This is, I think, a Mojave rattler. I mean, they're, they're out there. So you, you just got to be, um, you got to watch out. Okay. Um, yeah, these, you can see. That's, that's a, I don't know what that is. Hemi penis. Okay. I mean, these are quite an amazing animal, but an estimated seven to 8,000 people are bitten by venomous states, snakes in the United States each year with about five deaths. The most important factor in survival following a severe envenomation, envenomation is the time elapsed between the bite and the treatment. Most deaths occur between six and 48 hours after the bite. If anti-venom treatment is given within two hours of the bite, the probability of recovery is greater than 99%. So the thing that happen, that can happen is you'll be out hiking way up in the in the desert and then where, where actually there's a lot of rattlers and you get bit, it might take a couple hours to get down there to get the anti-venom. So just keep that in mind, guys. You know, um, I mean, I, I could go on and on about this. I could make a whole video about rattlers, really. I mean, there's a lot. I, I, I got I got to keep going on, but I can make a whole video about Arizona rattlesnakes. That's, that's how much there is to view about this. And then, um, but there's a lot of there's a lot of species. All right. So back to this. You've also got a coral snake. You got to watch out for these coral snakes. So there's different between a coral snake and I want to so. There's two different snakes that look almost exactly the same. I want to say it's a, a coral snake and a bull snake. They look the same except the, the coloration is different. So you can get them confused, but the coral snake is the venomous one. The adult coral snake is small. Its average is 13 to 20 inches. So do not touch these. Do not think they're cute and you want to make friends with them because these are poisonous. Okay. I mean, it doesn't say in here that it's poisonous, but from what I can remember, these are, wait, you are absolutely sure. How, um, the coral snakes red bands encircle its body 
touch the yellow bands that is encircle its body its blunt nose and its head is completely back however it is never wise to handle a snake unless you're absolutely sure it is not venomous the king oh yeah it's a king snake is my so yeah just don't touch these okay the effects of the venomous toxin can be delayed reaction that's what they're saying so the king snake is not venomous but this coral snake that looks exactly like the king snake well not exactly but it's hard to tell the difference this one's poisonous so do not touch the king snake or the coral snake because unless you know for a fact that it's not the, the coral because coral snake is um deadly although its venom is deadly is a deadly potent the arizona coral has a poor poison delivery system I almost feel like I need to do a whole video on Arizona reptiles. And in that video, I can do more in depth on the coral snake and the rattlesnake. And then you got uh, tarantulas. These are common. I mean, people make these pets. So tarantulas. Um, I just don't like uh, spiders. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway. These, this is where I get kind of uh, you know nervous. I, it's, between snakes... Bark scorpions, spiders, I just, I don't know. It's not my thing. Then you have birds of prey. You have bald eagle. These are in the north. And then you have golden eagle, also in the north. Down at, down here in the in the valley, you'll see hawks. Those are not, they're called Harris hawks. They're, those are not eagles. So, and on this website, ArizonaLeisure.com, if you go to it, you can see they've got all of the venomous creatures on here. Black widows, those will get you. Brown recluse. So, the Arizona centipede. Anyways, these will get you when you're sleeping, you know, and I'm not trying to scare you, but you want to make sure your house is clean. These will live under your, you know, they just, if, if you've got boxes just building up after years, that's when you get these kind of creatures that just kind of become an infestation in there. And then they lay eggs. Anyways, guys, this is the Creepy Crawlies of Arizona. I could do more in-depth videos about the lizards, the reptiles, the insects, the, the venomous. Whatever you guys want, let me know. But this is just a brief overview to show you guys what, what you can expect out here in the wildlife. There's some other friendly creatures like roadrunners, jackrabbits. There's bunny rabbits. Jackrabbits and bunny rabbits are totally different. Um, they didn't even mention that on here. I don't even see the jackrabbits, roadrunners either. So, but these are mostly creepy crawlies anyway. So we'll see you guys next time.